right, <clears throat> and welcome back to another edition of Toys Equals Midlife Crisis Squared. Today, we're tackling the elephant in the room, the big, ugly, nasty, beat-down elephant in this wave. I mean, Jiminy Crickets, what can really be said that hasn't been said by like 20 or 30 other uh, YouTube reviewers about this particular piece? I know some folks are tired of it, and I get that. But I'm just going to say it, 30 plus dollars after all is said and done for a figure that they just like phoned in. They didn't really, you know, Falcon was one of my favorite figures from back in the day, plus one of my favorite characters in the animated movie. So yes, a lot of expectation was for this. I, I really wanted one that really represented the character. And I'm not, I'm going to be just completely honest that I felt the digital render wasn't that bad. I really was like, well, all right, you know, that's fine. I can, you know, I can dig it, but I'm sorry, but just because you have a reasonable digital render doesn't mean the execution is going to be there because it just, no, it just wasn't. Plus I'm not, I mean, the artwork here, I don't know. Again, it's, I like the mood, but he doesn't look like a Falcon either. Just looks like some bitter guy standing there like, I didn't get my chicken sandwich. Or I don't know. Just, uh. Anyway, let's get this Foolio on out the box. Yeah, well, uh, whatever. All right, he's out of the box. And I might have lucked out on this one. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This is my second purchase of him because the original one I got was so stupid bad that I just, I couldn't stand it. I just, I couldn't stand it. So... In this particular case, um, I think I did okay. Um, if I can ever get this stupid thing to shimpin' up. Okay. Um, again, this time, I think I got reasonably decent paint app on the eyes. Um, as evidenced by the fact that uh, the overspray does not show up on his eyebrow ridge which was the problem I had on the other one. Because when it does that, he literally has the derpiest derp face you've ever derpy seen in your ever derpy life. And uh, so let me, uh, let me just briefly show you uh, what he comes with. So, you know, everyone's shown the same thing. He's got the wet gear that, um, that kind of sticks up too far because it's meant to be that his shirt is untucked. And uh, unfortunately, for the most part, since it's a different grade of plastic, it has a different sheen than the rest of the... Because they're using like a really hard plastic and then a really soft plastic. And the colors don't really match up. So he ends up looking awfully awkward. I don't really particularly mind. I, I kind of dislike the fact that the camo color is so faint that it's almost negligible. You might as well not have even put any uh, uh, camo whatsoever. I mean, it, <laughs> to be honest, they could have just made him one solid color and that, that would have been all she wrote. It would have been just fine. But other than that, the details are not too bad. The, the neckerchief is annoying. Uh, I think what I might do is heat it up and push down on it so that it permanently molds into its position. That kind of makes sense to me. Um, but again, the paint apps for the most part on this one are accurate. The other one was uh, a complete and utter disaster. Uh, it comes with a knife. I think we've all pretty much seen this knife like into half a dozen times. Uh, it's got serrated edges. Those are not, um, oh, for God's sake. Uh, they're not um, faults in the mold. They were supposed to be done this way. And again, it's not bad. It's not terribly rubbery, thank God. They kind of ditched that option. Now, this is something I have not seen anyone else do, and I figured this out for myself. So this backpack has three different types of plastic. This uh, rope thing, could uh, it's glued in, but it's pegged on. So technically speaking, you could take this off if you want it. Uh, uh, this is not at all uh, glued in. It's just pegged in. So you don't have to keep it there if you don't want to. Uh, but it does plug in and it's uh, the thing it plugs into is a separate piece of glued in plastic the knife of course slides into uh, the backpack like so some year the yeah 
Comes with this kind of sort of terrible shotgun. Uh, it, it does look kind of like a spaz. Uh, and yeah, it folds over, but the this little clippy here is so loose, it just tends to pop off. And it's, it's just awfully uncomfortable. I'm not likely to have him use this. Uh, see, look at that. I just tossed it. I just tossed it. Come on, son. This is the just, oh, God, for God's sakes. Whatever. Oh, you know what? Just whatever. My God. I'm telling you, this is going to be the most egregiously angry uh, reviews ever. <laughs> so silly of me. Anyway, he comes with this ridiculous beret that uh, apparently won't come into focus ever. There we go. Uh, I think it's a little too tall because when you fit it on his head, his head's already somewhat oversized, but when you fit this, it makes his head even taller. But uh, overall though, like I said, on this particular sculpt, it's not bad. But there is something I want to show you uh, that's kind of a sort of a problem with the head sculpt that's part of a design problem. And I'm gonna to demonstrate to you right now what it is. Just give me a sec. Okay, now I'm gonna show you this if I can do it. All right. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but this here is a face that I drew, okay? Now, if I were to tilt it upwards, uh, again, trying to see if I can get this to show up. If you tilt it upwards, the face distorts. You see that? See how the eyes distort in that derpy fashion? And if I tilt it downwards, it becomes a different kind of face than it is that if it's normal. You see how that works? So that's one part of it. Oops. Sorry, I lost my mic. Uh, that's one part of the problem with the head sculpt. There is another problem uh, that you're going to have with mostly it being photographs online because there's this thing called lens distortion. And when you have a low millimeter lens, like 12, 24, uh, that's basically fisheye wide angle lens and it will distort by making kind of a stretched out bubble of anything that you take a picture of. So telephones or our cell phones or whatever have a very low millimeter uh, lens on it, like 12, you know, and that's going to stretch and distort the image. So that's why a lot of times you're going to see reviews where it's like, well, this this looks better in hand than the photographs I've seen. Well, yes, that's because the lens distortion has stretched out the features to the point where it looks like poop online, but then when you get it in hand, it doesn't look quite as poopy as it did when you saw it. And uh, here, uh, Poopy Falcon suffers from that particular issue. So a lot of his very poor head sculpt was due to um, lens distortion. Like even right now, I'm shooting it... Um, roughly 35 ish uh millimeter range so he doesn't look quite as distorted except that uh you know what good is lens distortion if you can't get it into focus for the love of pete so again uh that's a large part of the problem with his head sculpt is it's just not very flattering where uh where it concerns the design and depending on the angle upon which you shoot there are some angles that are going to look great, and there are some angles that are going to look straight up poopy, and that's unfortunate. Uh, but I lucked out on this version, but I'm going to show you something that I did with the other version uh, because I was like, you know, screw a bunch of that. I t attempted to wipe the paint off of the face, and I didn't do the world's greatest job, but I'm going to paint my own version at some point. But... Um, I tried different heads. I, I did have the blowback head, but it doesn't really fit. And to be fair, I just, I really don't want to do that. Everyone else was doing that. So I did something so different that I think is so cool. All right. So this is what I did. I took the Kamakura head, the Sean character, and I took off the wet gear. And you know what? It's pretty dang cool in my opinion. I think he just is like, you know, what amounts to be a grunt. Like he's like, you know, I, fresh out of a uh, GI Joe training camp or whatever. I don't particularly have any armor that I want to use with him yet, but that's just kind of the thing. He's open to when, if I can find some really good body armor or a cool vest or some other kind of gear 
that I can set them up with. I've uh, been kind of tooling around looking at uh, Gridiron Studios. I think I'm going to get uh, a loadout there for him specifically. But again, yeah, so not too bad of a waste. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll think about seeing what I could do with the repaint on uh, on the other Falcon Head. But I like, me, I like this. So uh, all in all, not too bad. Not not quite as uh, a disturbathon as like the... Um, Outback was when I reviewed him. So, like for example, uh, just fresh out of the box. Oh, look at that! I can move in my arms. Yay! And good legs. Now, uh, I did have to do a lot of tooling around with this one because, like, the legs were super stiff. And it's not because, like I said in another video, it's not because the joints are really too tight. It's because there's a lot of flash. You know, they yanked these things out of the mold before they finished somehow and as a result you get this these bits of free hanging plastic that lodge into the joint and make it impossible to move and so it looks clean from the outside but on the inside of the joint it's all kinds of messed up and this once again is a qc failure from hasbro like hasbro bro 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 what's wrong with you man what is wrong with you like, dude, I get it. You guys want money. You're greedy for the money. But, you know, you got to deliver a product that works, man, especially for nearly $30 a piece. You have to deliver. I am so hoping that with the next couple of uh, releases that they do a much, much better job. some fun that's right come at me bro come at me i dare you to come at me